Okay. Number eight. Y equals two-thirds X plus one. The only work I will accept on this, I said, is a table of these exact five X values. Okay. Negative one. Zero. One. Two. And three. Okay, now. For Y equals two-thirds X plus one. I do not want a parenthesis there, actually. Um, now I plug these in. So two-thirds times negative one plus one. What is two-thirds times negative one going to give me? It's going to give oh. you uh, negative two-thirds. Two Brandon, you got to think and then start to answer. I, don't, I do not want you to start to answer if you don't have it ready to go, okay? Thank you. Okay, negative two-thirds plus one. What is negative two-thirds plus one? Okay, if you have to break this down, do so, but you got to be able to do this. Nick, what is negative two-thirds plus one? Oh, wait, plus one or something? Plus one. Oh, it's one and... Wait, negative... Oh, it's... Negative one-third. Nope. Or, no, it's negative... No, it's just one-third. I have negative two-thirds. Got it on the last try there. Remember, one you can change to three over three. It makes no sense in my head all right now. I'm, I'm getting it more okay. confused every time you try to explain it. Hold on. Negative two-thirds plus one. One, you can always rewrite any number as a fraction, okay, with anything you want as its numerator, as long as when you work out the division, you get back where you started. Is three divided by three one? Yes. Then I can rewrite one as three divided by three. Now that these have the same denominator, I can add the numerators. And what is minus 2 plus 3? One. 1. So as Nick said after about five tries there, um, we have positive 1 third here. What? Okay. Oh. Because it's negative 2 plus 3. Here's the, here's the easier one. 2 thirds times 0 plus 1. What? How do you graph this? Uh, we'll get to that in a sec. Okay. Incidentally, if you want to over here, one thing might be helpful is I'm going to write that this means it passes through the point, negative 1, comma, 1 third. Okay? 2 thirds times 0 plus 1. 2 thirds times 0 plus 1. That one's easy. What's 2 thirds times 0? 0. What's 0 plus 1? 1. 1. So this passes through the point, 0, comma, 1. X value, Y value. Okay. I got that one. Wait, 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 wait. Where did 1 come from? Oh, we're supposed to... Oh. Right. Okay. you got to keep your personal epiphanies to yourself. Okay? We don't need to hear every so time. So, two, two-thirds plus one is one? Nope. Oh, yeah, zero. Gotcha. Two-thirds times zero. Gotcha. Zero plus one. Okay, now, in a minute, here's where we're going to get to that one. Two-thirds times one plus one equals... Well, what is two-thirds times one? Two-thirds. Two-thirds. What is... Oh, my God. One I'm plus two-thirds. So you put one, one, one and two-thirds. Oh, yeah. One and two-thirds, two two if you're writing it as a mixed number, if I wanted to write it as an improper fraction, what would I do? One over one. One over two. Two over one. Remember, this is the one where you multiply the number by the denominator and add that to the numerator. So it would be uh, six. Five over three. Five over three. I that. One times three plus two is five. Okay. Um, now we have two thirds times two. Wait. Well, so what's the answer? Five thirds. Either one. I honestly think in this case one. And one three. comma. I think one and two thirds will be a little easier in this case, Brandon. Jordan. Yes. I think one and two thirds <laughs> will be a little bit easier in this case. Two thirds times two plus one. What is two thirds times two? Mm, one and one third. Two and two thirds. Two, nope. Two thirds times two. Two, two thirds times two is one and one third. Yes, because it's two thirds times two over one plus one. So that is four thirds plus one. Let's go Which, and get to the answer. Can I, can, I do the, can I do the thingy? Well, I want the next step. What's the next step there? What, can I, what do I have to do to the simplify one? Simplify it. Shh. What do I have to do to the one to make it so I can add it to a four thirds, Jenny? Do um, four over three plus four over, 
Four over three plus three over three. I rewrite the one as a fraction with the same denominator. And now that I can add those two fractions, what will my answer be? Well, Jenny, think seven over three. Jordan? Yeah, seven. Seven Jordan also thinks three, seven over three. Two or two and one third. That is two and one third. Because three goes into seven twice How? with the one remainder. Gentlemen, so now I have the point two, comma, two and one third. Yes, we had two thirds times two, which is where we got the four thirds from. Four thirds plus one, well, we take the one, make that into three thirds, so that we can, no one else is speaking right now, please, thank you. You guys are wonderful. Okay. I four know. thirds plus three thirds gets me seven thirds because we leave the denominators the same, add the numerators. All right. Three goes into seven twice with a remainder of one. Okay. These fractions can take a while. Now this one, Jenny, this goes back to what Miss uh, Siegel was telling you. Because what is what is two thirds times three? Oh, two-thirds times three? Yes. Is three. Nope. Close. Four, four, it's going to be, Jenny says two. Here's why. It's two-thirds times three over one. And re, uh, then still the plus one has to come along. And how are you doing that so fast? Jenny, you are so Hold smart. Up. Oh. Okay. Here, it's yeah. two-thirds times three over one. Now, notice what will happen here. Just like we did before, if you have two fractions being multiplied by each other, you can divide this 3 by this 3, okay. and that's 1 over 1. So we have 2 times 1, 2 times 1 over 1 times 1. All that's left is going to be 2. The plus 1 is still along. 2 plus 1 is 3. So this passes through the point 3, comma 3. No, wait, wait. Double check me. When did he, when you, uh... So then you... Hey, Brandon, you just interrupted Jordan. You're right. The name's right. Okay. Yes, Jordan. What would it be like three over under six and you make it a proper fraction and it be two? Uh you can do that. Mega? Yes, you could that would get you the same answer. You could go from two over three times three over one. Mega bath. You could make that yes. Back just make sure you walk uh, around here. You could make that six over three. Two times three is six, three times one. And that will make it two. Same answer. But we went over some cases uh, before the last test, Jordan where it was sometimes faster to divide things out oh, at this step. Oh, okay. I was trying to do that one thing. I it was just carrying them off. Yeah, it was 3 divided by 3 is the same as 1 over 1. Oh, I got you. But you can always do this. It's just sometimes this is faster. That's easier. Okay, now we have to graph these points. I know how to do that. You know how to do that? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see. At this point... I'm going to need to... Hey, we'll be the I lost my cameraman here. Hang on a sec. Sorry, we got it here. That's all I needed done. All I needed doing was that. <laughs> um, it's on that board now. Okay. Now, before I start, here's what I have to think about. The papers I gave you, if you chose to use them, had um, 10 squares on them. But you got to pick your scale. Okay? 